Life Audio. Hello. Thank you for listening to Your Daily Bible Verse, the podcast that examines one verse each day to learn more about God and His will for our lives. I'm your host, Grace Fox. And after this short word from our sponsor, we'll dive into today's Bible verse, Psalm 46, 7. Miracles are everywhere. Let our adventure begin! Discover Pure Flix, your premium streaming service where faith and family values come home. Ready to have some fun? The most exclusive selection of quality, wholesome movies and series that will uplift your spirit. A man can argue whether God exists, but when he looks at his daughters, he knows. With new arrivals every week. Unbelievable. Save big and enjoy the possibilities, like invitations to exclusive theatrical screenings. I see it, so I believe it. Find out more by joining today at pureflix.com. Today's Bible verse is Psalm 46, 7. The Lord of heaven's armies is here among us. The God of Israel is our fortress. Have you ever felt as though you're fighting a losing battle? I have in several ways. I've tried for years to deal with a family relationship that involves mental health issues, and for the most part, it has not gone well. Sometimes I think about the needs and hurts in the people's lives associated with our ministry and in our neighborhood, and I wish I could address them all in a meaningful way, but I just can't. And then there are the challenges related to maintaining my physical health and the need to exercise and make wise food choices so I can live long and strong for Jesus. Traveling a lot makes it difficult to be consistent in keeping these disciplines, and so I sometimes feel like I'm fighting a losing battle in trying to care for my body and maintain a healthy weight. On days when I'm overtired or discouraged, I catch myself slipping into a mindset that says, it's no use. You may as well quit because this is a battle you'll never win. Perhaps you can relate. You've faced battles too, and similar thoughts have come into your mind, so Listen, my friend, those thoughts are not from the Lord. They come from the enemy of our soul, and his only purpose for us is our destruction. So we have to counteract those thoughts with the truth. The truth is, God fights for us, and we can win those battles because he is on our side. Today's verse refers to God as the Lord of heaven's armies. Some versions say the Lord of hosts. Others say Lord Almighty with Lord in all capital letters. And some say Jehovah Sabaoth, which would be the name used in the original language. The Hebrew word for Jehovah means to be or to exist. It also suggests to become known. This implies that God seeks to reveal his nature to mankind in an ongoing fashion. The Hebrew word for Sabaoth means hosts or armies. So this has three possible meanings. First, God is God of the armies of men. Second, God is God of the heavenly hosts, meaning the stars and moon and sun, because he is their creator. And third, God is God of angelic hosts, both good and evil. Theologians agree on these three possible meanings, and they all agree that choosing one over the other really isn't necessary because God is God over all of them, no matter which one is the most accurate interpretation. This name of God is found about 261 times in the Old Testament. In the New Testament, it's used almost exclusively in Revelation. In 1 Samuel 1.11, Hannah called God by this name when she cried to him in distress. She had been unable to conceive a child in a culture that considered infertility a sign of God's displeasure. Her husband's other wife had given birth to several children and mocked her mercilessly, probably out of jealousy because Hannah was the more beloved wife. So Hannah was in a battle of the soul. She was unable even to eat because she was so distraught. And so she went to the temple and prayed. Here's what she said. 
O Lord of heaven's armies, if you will look upon my sorrow and answer my prayer and give me a son, then I will give him back to you. He will be yours for his entire lifetime. And as a sign that he's been dedicated to the Lord, his hair will never be cut. She was basically saying, unleash all the power at your disposal. Fight for me, God. Give me a son, and then I will give him back to you to serve you so long as he lives. Imagine, the Lord of heaven's armies is commander in chief over everything. Yet he stooped to hear the cry of a heartbroken woman and to answer her prayer for a son. He stoops to hear our cries for help, too. And the help that is at his disposal is enough to boggle the mind. On the night of his arrest, as described in Matthew twenty six fifty three, Jesus said, Do you think that I cannot appeal to my father and he will at once send me more than 12 legions of angels? The word legion is a military term used in the Roman army. One legion consisted of at least 6,000 soldiers. So 12 legions would equal 72,000 soldiers. In this case, though, 12 legions would equal 72,000 angels. But Jesus said more than 12 legions. So we're talking a minimum of 72,000. Isaiah thirty-seven thirty-six says, The angel of the Lord killed 185,000 enemy soldiers in one night. So let's do the math. The combined strength of one legion of angels, 6,000 heavenly beings, could take out 1,110,000 highly trained warriors. The combined strength of 12 legions of angels could take out 13,320,000,000 men, more than the entire human race. This was the power to which Jesus had access on the night of his arrest, on the night that Peter took his sword and began flailing it about in his attempt to defend Jesus from the arresting soldiers. Oh, the irony of it. Peter thought the Lord of heaven's armies needed his help for personal protection, but Jesus set him straight. Put your sword away, he said. My friend, Peter's sword represents our human attempts to fight our battles in our own strength. Do we really think that the Lord of heaven's armies needs our help? How often do we try to stand against the enemy of our soul and fail? Jesus says, put your weak little sword away. I have warriors at my command who will rush to your rescue Let's do things my way. I'll fight the battle for you with the resources I have at hand. What battle are you facing today? Don't settle for taking a swipe at the enemy with your little sword of human strength. Let's call on Jehovah Sabaoth, the Lord of Heaven's armies, and invite him to do battle on our behalf. With him on our side, we will never fight another losing battle. Let's pray. Lord of heaven's armies, we stand in awe of the power at your disposal. Remind us of this truth when we feel as though we're fighting a losing battle. Remind us to put away the little sword of our own human strength and to call on your name instead. Give us faith to believe that you are on our side and will rush to our rescue when we call on you for help. In Jesus' name, amen. Your Daily Bible Verse is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com.
It's time for Medicaid Open Enrollment in Delaware. From Wilmington to Bethany Beach, connections run deep in the first state. And AmeriHealth Caritas Delaware is dedicated to connecting you to care. To learn more, visit AmeriHealthCaritasDE.com.